At one notable Roman feast, over 600 ostrich brains were served. But I've dreamt up a different hors d'oeuvre. Something that we're going to be serving at the beginning of the meal is true Roman delicacy. In the spirit of Caligula, who uh, apparently enjoyed eating private parts of various things, various creatures, we're actually making pork scratchings, but from nipples. The idea is that we've got this, these sheets of pig skin, cutting out the disc containing the nipple. So these then go into a hot oven, 230, 240, until they puff up, go nice and crisp. We're going to finish them with some just uh, salt and coriander mix and a little bit of pepper. You can see it now. I think my local selling these. Pig's nipple scratchings. Oh, oh, hang on. This is, this is, this is just a piece of theatre. No, no. Animals' sexual organs symbolised wealth and power and were eaten by the elite, so they're perfect for my celebrity guests. I'm going to eavesdrop on their reactions. But what are we now eating? Yeah, this one is your pig's nipples. No, pig's nipples. Oh, it's nipples. udder. Yeah, udder. It's udder. Oh, no, you can see the actual... Yes. Look. There is a pig's nipple. That is a pig's nipple. That's a very, very erect nipple. It must have been cold. <laughs> <laughs> very sort of delicate flavour of pork about them, but they're incredibly crunchy. Would anyone they? like uh, more of my nipples? Mm. <laughs> As the bishop said. The oh, go on, go on. I love pork scratchings, and I'm always complaining that it's not scratchy enough. And so I love it when I find it scratchy. <laughs>